Alrighty, everybody, I'm back. Yes, I'm back, and we're gonna be talking about the new lumber map, which is kind of semi-new now, I'll be honest, it's been a little bit. But there's a lot, actually, to talk about that map, and I'm gonna get into that in just a second, but oh my goodness, it just got dark out here. As you may have noticed, um, I'm a bit thinner. Uh, yeah, I just decided I was gonna turn my uh, waist down a little bit, my my uh, width down a little bit, make me feel a little bit more like myself, because I'm not that, uh, I'm not that buff. Also, we just got a recently new update, which is kind of unimportant here, but basically, sandbox mode just got a lot better, so... So, uh, yeah, that's cool. All right, now, by the way, this map is returned. Sunken Wreck. We're gonna actually look at it here real quick. Wait, wait, that's not even our intent for the video. Why am I doing this? All right, so look at that. This is finally returned. Oh, we do have the Leviathan. Hi, buddy. How's it going? So the Leviathan is here. Oh, and they do make the noise. They do make the noise. Yeah, I'm only seeing the blue one. They may have gotten rid of the green one. Oh, hey, there he is. Hello, Mr. Green Boy. The green boy is here as well. So they're both here. Hey, nice, nice. I didn't, I wasn't sure if they were here or not. And hey, look, it's the Dutchman. It looks exactly like its stats after Red Guy and Weeby put out Operation Squish. Alrighty, here we are. So honestly, there's a lot of secrets in this map. So many actually that I'm not even gonna be able to go over every single one of them. A lot of the more obvious ones, I'm not even gonna be going over, but I will be taking some time to talk generally about the map, generally about the people that created it. And we're also gonna take a look at some of the secret Easter eggs hidden in this map. But before we do that, before we do that, before we do that, I'm going to not call out to hit subscribe and just say thank you for watching this YouTube video because it's very kind of you to do so. First thing we're gonna be talking about is the inspiration for this map, because as you can tell, this is a very detailed map and there's a lot of different things, special, unique things about it. And a lot of you may already know this, but this was actually inspired. This map has been inspired by another game itself. If you've ever played the game Lumber Tycoon 2, you will know what this map is originating from. Basically, this is a large portion of the original Lumber Tycoon 2 map. The world you play on is basically a majority of it at least not all of it but a large portion of it is this area right here there are a couple of exceptions there's a few areas that are not included in this map but these are the main biomes of the map the general i think the main uh land i don't remember exactly what it's called uh but the main area you've got the mountains volcano swamp and savannah so we've got all those four areas right there and everything in here is mostly going to be a reference to something else on the map the only exclusion really being this uh this board here this this board is definitely not in the actual lumber tycoon 2 game but a majority of everything else here is actually in the game the reason this map was actually was created was because somebody who goes by the name of jack uk wanted to put his uh, favorite game in this game uh well that's that's not the, that's not the whole story but really more or less there's a guy by the name of Jack UK, and he's actually a close friend of mine, I'm not gonna lie. He and the other creator, Hunter Survivor, or Server, how, uh, however you want to say it, uh, they both are close friends of mine, and Red Guy, and Crimson, well, and Fairy. And Jack has actually been featured on my channel multiple times because he does his own YouTube channel for another game uh, being, well, L Lum Lumber Tycoon 2. And the other thing is I've also got the, that, the only other tower that I have that skin for is uh, another, the, probably the best tower in the game. In my opinion, it's the best tower in the game. I mean, honestly, it's a pretty good tower. And it's, it's, uh, it's that one that, that you put on the water and it, and it, it goes boom, boom. I oh, want the sea battery, the worst one in the oh. whole field defense. No, no, it's the best tower. Sure. I don't know what you're talking about. Best tower, obviously. The best tower in the worst way. So that's Jack, and he's a pretty cool guy. He's got more subscribers than me. Uh, he got them a lot quicker than I did, too. I'm not going to lie. He, he's got over 15, 16K now, I think. And uh, he plays Lumber, which is a much more popular game than Cube. So that's kind of, that's, that's, I like to validate my, uh, my obvious uh, lacking to the fact that I'm playing a smaller game. You guys probably also know who Hunter Server is. If you don't, she's basically an admin for the Cosmic Development Group, which is the development team for cube defense she's also the admin in many other discords including multiple lumber tycoon 2 discords so that's another reason why she's involved here in this map and building it so those two which are featured as you can see in these little buildings here they are the creators of the map and they have some very deep connections with us and with lumber lumber tycoon 2 
is actually very important to a large part of the more well-known people in the community and i'm going to explain that to you guys in a little bit here next we're, we're going to talk about though is all the secrets so i've just told you about the people that uh made the map and what the map's inspired off but we got to talk about all the special parts of the map too now there's a lot of things i'm not going to be really pointing out specifically for example buildings like these they're pretty obvious i'm going to go over one of them but most of them i'm going to completely ignore i'm also going to ignore obvious holes like this like that that's that's not a big secret not going to be that crazy for you guys stuff like that that's really obvious i'm not going to go into too much detail over because we don't have the time for everything we're going to go over very specific stuff the first thing we're going to be talking about and probably one of the more obvious parts of the map is going to be this little cave here this thing here is actually in the game and it's basically a cave that takes from the mountains to the swamp it's kind of hard to use and i'm going to explain that why in a second but basically that's what that cave is and so it's kind of a cool little uh, secret area that you can go through there now the next secret isn't immediately obvious you really have to have played lumber tycoon 2 to understand this and even notice this but as you can see here there's this little uh, kind of like a bridge here and basically what this is is it's a big boulder that you can actually shove off of a cliff which is replicated here and it, it really isn't accurate as you can see there's this weird wall here but basically in the game you can shove this down a cliff using explosives and put it in this placement and it builds a perfect bridge for you to drive across this gap here so that is pretty cool in itself now right below that bridge is this little uh this little cave here this little cave just takes you to a special area i'm not going to go into too much detail there but basically there's a special hidden thing that you can unlock and uh obtain a painting or at least you were used to be able to obtain a special painting from that hole there so that is pretty cool now the next thing that we're going to be talking about in this whole entire setup is actually going to be this bridge as you noticed earlier these are the toll booths for the bridge hunter and jack are in them and this bridge was actually pretty well replicated by jack he was the one that built the bridge and he did a really good job of building it it's actually lowered here in the actual game it lowers and rises and you have to pay the person in the toll booth usually unless you own a game pass to lower this bridge so you can get across um, if you have a game pass though you can do it for free so that's what this bridge is for and as you can see it's already lowered so those cubes can get across now the next one and this is something i've seen people being like whoa this is weird uh is this little boat uh wreck here this is basically resembling the ferry of lumber tycoon 2 uh which is a way of transportation to an area that's not replicated on this map but basically around this area way over here it's a long ways off but a little ways away i think it's it's about this far honestly uh, from the other map but this is where the tropics biome is and it's got a lot of things including some special wood that glows blue which is why these blue pieces are here with this shipwreck because a lot of people use this to get across it's really the only legit way to get this wood from over there actually it's one of two but it's the main way for people to get blue wood from the tropics to the main biome so that is why they use a ferry however the ferry is known for glitching out and the captain whose name is hoover is widely despised because of his uh notoriousness for messing up people's days and because of that hunter and jack said it would be funny to make his ship finally sink and be like ha goodbye you've gotten you got what you deserved hoover so yep and by the way for any of you wondering what this is this is basically a sign that is actually on the boat and so that is why this is here now the next one there is by the way real quick there is actually an island that is like that there's actually three islands in the game that are like that uh that have their own special trees they only spot on that island and that's what them right there so that is what that island out there is for and why those special trees are only there because in the game that's the only place for them to spawn now over here you may notice this little bit of a gap in the wall and these rocks here basically what this is is the entrance to another area that is not actually in this map but it is the tagia biome or tagia ta tagia I, I don't don't ask me how to say it basically it's a winter biome and you can do a bunch of stuff over here there's some special wood over here as well and the only way to get through it is to explode remove these bricks here and so you use tnt uh, to get rid of them and so that is what we did and so that is how you get through from the main biome to the tagia tagia however you say it what, whatever it is and that is why this back end here is white because it's replicating the snowy area in the game i'm not going to show you guys all the secrets there's some other things like for example there's this little circle here which is basically just a 
thing in the actual Lumber Tycoon 2 game that really doesn't have a purpose, it's just there. And this, which, this little hole here, which is actually from an event back in 2017, 18, I think? Uh, so maybe 19, I don't know. It was a little ways back, but there was an event that includes this hole, which is still in the game, actually. Uh, so that is why that is there. So there's some minor things like that. Note in this building here that there is a beard here. Basically, that's just kind of replicating the actual sign. This beard is in the actual game. It's called Wood R Us instead of Cube R Us. So kind of funny uh, little play on words there. Also, note that there's this little paper here. And this is basically just a hint for something else, a special little secret in the game that I'm not going to go into too much detail over. But basically, it allows you to get a secret axe in the game. And uh, this was a hint for people to figure out how to obtain that axe and so this would have text on it in the actual game so that's why that's there this here by the way is another one this cave actually leads you to a memorial to a deceased youtuber who went by the name of ticka twerk uh, she was a well-known youtuber for the game and the creator decided to put a memorial out there for her in respect for her now the next one and this is probably one a lot of you guys don't even know about is this little brick right here this is basically representing a green box that you can obtain in the game well not really obtain you can touch a green box in the game and there's multiple ways to do it but there's only one real correct way to do it there's cheating ways to do it which as you see here i did that way but it's really special brick because it's been in the game for a long time and basically you had to do some really hard parkour uh, using some of the wood that you can plank out to build a bridges across little platforms uh, over lava to obtain this brick. It's really hard to do. Uh, I've managed to successfully do it twice. It's, it's really, really hard though. However, uh, using glitch I did here, it's actually relatively easy these days. You just get to it if you want to do it without a challenge. And so that is the green box represented here. And also it's white because the box is actually white and it's just glowing green. And so that's why it's actually white here and not green. So that's probably one of the biggest secrets. And I will say that isn't all of them. Uh, but there are a couple more I'm gonna go over here too, but I'm gonna emphasize this There are more secrets in this map that you don't know about yet and some of you may not even discover uh, For a while, so I'm not gonna expose all of them. You guys will eventually figure them out yourself uh, Another one though something you uh, probably know about is this brick down here underneath this rock whenever the game starts I'm gonna actually go ahead and do it right here. Okay, so if we start a wave as you can see it breaks off and the cubes start coming and that's just because this brick in the actual game is over this pink brick and so this is kind of weird it's a kind of unknown brick in the game really don't know the intent of it however it is in the actual game and you can see it and originally that entire little slab that brick that we just blew up here you actually originally could blow it up uh, for a little bit of time a very small amount of time you could actually blow up that brick and move it out of the way however since then it has been anchored and can no longer be moved so that is why that kind of explodes it's a really creative way to start the round and was actually scripted in by red guy to my knowledge uh, the next one actually involves a volcano and this is not one I can really display in the sandbox mode but as you can see here whenever you lose the game this volcano will erupt which is really really cool and a very special event uh, that can occur on this map only I really really like that by the way again red guy scripted that in two very 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 cool events to start and finish a game uh, very unique to here and it's again the volcano doesn't actually explode in lumber uh, lumber tycoon 2 does not have an exploding volcano just a volcano so a uh, very very special little thing for the map here so this is overall just a really really special map in the game now there really isn't much else here in the map to talk about there is this hole here which involves a little passage from the tropics biome it basically allows you to get from the tropics biome over here really quickly by dropping down a hole that drops you in like right there so that's a little special area there but nothing too um, crazy about that there's also this shack here which is a little tiny little shop that you can actually go to in the game and purchase some things from a guy named Bob but again not a major detail practically I've gone over pretty much everything so hopefully you guys all did enjoy make sure to consider subscribing down below and before you all leave I'm gonna um, you know you know 
you know, um, I just, I don't, don't, don't tell the people that just left because I know a lot of you guys just left because, uh, because once I start my outro, it's like, okay, I'm going to leave. Well, I'm, I'm going to throw in this little secret here. There's one more thing. There's one more thing. And it actually is very, very important, by the way, this, this little secret's very, very important. And it isn't all of them. There's still at least one or two that I have not mentioned, but this one here is very, very special. And it involves another person that is well known by me, by Jack, by Hunter, by Red Guy, Crimson, multiple admins on the team, other people. This guy is very, very important also to Lumber Tycoon 2. You may already know who this person is, and you may have seen him if you've explored this map at all. But right under here is the man, the myth, the legend, Code Primate himself, who actually I have met before IRL. Like, I have actually met this guy in real life before he is really cool a good friend of mine code primate uh he does a lot of lumber tycoon 2 videos he's very unique in how he does his youtube videos his fan base though small is very dedicated he has over 100,000 subscribers bigger than me and jack combined uh i will leave his link to his channel and to jack's channel down in the description below so go check that out uh, if you want to see some cool content on lumber tycoon 2 and uh, yeah guys that is practically everything I've done I've done this video hopefully you all are happy that I've brought another video to the channel I apologize for the amount of time it's been since I last uploaded I'm doing some explorative stuff and so I've kind of been distracted uh, but hopefully I'll be able to upload at least a little bit more regularly here and uh, yeah, guys, thank everyone so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.